Welcome to another Goodie Reader video. This is Marcus. This is Peter. And today we're going to take a look at the Pocketbook 602 Pro. This is the 6 inch offering by Pocketbook. It reads a lot of formats and this is the really big draw about pocketbook e-readers is that it simply reads the most number of formats out of most e-readers on the marketplace we do have a full review of this so you can check it out on our youtube channel at youtube.com slash user slash good e-reader all right so very nice box uh, it's, you see it has the whole themed color here of green so here is the box there's two compartments there's the first one up top there's a second one down below, so we will start with the accessories here. You have a micro USB, so this is the micro end right here, and it goes to the full USB right here to both charge your device and transfer data from your computer, laptop, slate PC, and other sort of devices to transfer multimedia and charge your device. Now, what's really nice about Pocketbook is that they supply you with your very own case. This is full microfiber. It's not going to scratch your device. It has the pocketbook branding on it right at the bottom there. If I can flex some lights. Really nice how they give you a case for it. So that's that's definitely a plus to go with these guys. Now let's put this aside and save the best for last. Now we have a bunch of documentation here. You have a quick start guide. You really want to go over this before you start to really you know get completely engulfed in what this has to offer and you can see that it comes in various different languages really useful Korean Japanese uh, even a couple uh, East Indian languages and Farsi I think so it's very 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 nice that they include many different languages for an international um, customer base and pocketbook is really good for that their e-readers are compatible with almost the most number of foreign language markets outside of North America than a lot of e-readers that we really looked at exactly so we have your warranty card if there's anything wrong with your device refer to this and this will get you back up and running now there's nothing really else in the box except this nice piece of foam so let's move it over to the side and crack out the main attraction really sturdy build not too heavy really compact uh, very nice matte gray color so um, the backing is really nice too it's almost metallic so far uh, everything looks really good on this device you have a full up down left and right pad with a center button and a backslash menu button depending on when you what uh, kind of application you're in nothing really on the side power button on the top we'll do a first time startup in a second nothing on that side and you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack you have a micro USB micro SD card and a hard reset button you also have two speakers on the side. I, I really like the design of Pocketbook uh, e-readers, especially the 602 and the 902. Uh, both of them are designed more or less the same. I, I like the fact that it's, it's minimalist. They don't really have any more buttons or any type of you know gimmicks or anything on it it's, it's minimalist it's slick I kind of really like the black on almost white design it feels good and it looks good I mean if you look at our YouTube channel we have a lot of e-readers we have I think over 250 videos now where we review unbox and uh, you know check out various e-readers and tablets on the market and pocketbook I think rem remains one of my favorites in terms of speakers it has it's micro SD support, it has proper micro USB, it, it seems like it has the total package. Now we're going to power this on for the first time here. Press and hold the power button at the top of the device. So a little welcome message there. Now um, it will take a little bit longer first time startup because, uh, well this is fresh out of the box from the factory so you will have to be patient with it. So right, look at look at all the languages they give you just on the first screen, and these are these are the languages for the menu. Not not to mention all the languages it supports for the actual eBooks, but you can have your men you can have your menu in any of these languages. You have a German, English, even ones that I'm not even familiar with. These Russian script ones, it's amazing. And this is partly why Pocketbook does so well outside the North American market. It's one of the only e-readers that does offer a wide range of support for foreign language markets. And a lot of companies like Amazon and Kobo are trying to expand into other markets, most notably Germany. Uh, but if you look at their settings and 
you know, all of their menus and things like that, they still remain in English. You could read the books in different languages, but Pocketbook is one of the few companies, uh, along with Ictaco, that actually allow you to really configure your menus and have a really good interface. So if you do speak that language, everything is in that language. Exactly. Now, I'd like to mention this, that another thing that really sets these guys apart from just any standard old e-reader is that their menu, their home screen standby screen is amazing. You'll notice that on, say, the Amazon Kindle, your main screen is just a list of your books. Now, this is a full-out organized... This, this is a proper menu. You have your clock in the corner here. You have your calendar, which is not set correctly here because it is a first-time startup. And most importantly, you have the directories of where you want to go. You can go to your library. You can view your photos, music, search, config for your settings, applications. Everything's laid out here. You don't have to press menu to go into a secondary screen that has a list of things you may not may not be clear to you. This is all very laid out very laid out very properly with a little picture as well to help you along your way. This is a Linux based operating system, but it does almost feel like Android in a respect that it really does look like widgets as, in terms of your clock and calendar uh, being there. You can see by the screen here that it tells you what format uh, the book was in. So it said EPUB and you can click on whatever book that you want. So you, sure. these are the free books that actually come with it. And the Pocketbook 602 Pro is it bundled with quite a number of free eBooks, not just in the English language, but in all the languages they support. So you can see there it says EPUB. It tells you how big the file is, as well as the name of the book and who the author is. So it gives you all of the, the information that you really need. On that so we'll load it up quickly and just you know show you how a book looks on this device as well as just show you a little bit of page turn speeds so you can see for yourself that when Peter is pressing the buttons it's going pretty fast it does and it's formatted very nicely as well Okay, so we've given you a taste of what to expect from the Pocketbook 602 Pro. We do have a full review review video of it on our YouTube channel, so you can check it out at youtube.com slash user slash goodereader. You can also check out our blog to read a full written review on this, as well as pictures and step-by-step -step tutorials. Uh, we also are going to be filming and uploading uh, ebook loading tutorials. So if you're the type of person that downloads books from the internet and you want to learn how to load your own books on the pocketbook pro 602 we will teach you how to do that with caliber windows explorer and adobe digital editions so for goody reader my name is marcus this is peter everybody take care